with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, June 20th. Newport Beach police are searching for a serial burglar they're calling the Dinnertime Bandit. They say Paul Leeton Kiesling has hit at least 20 pricey homes in the city over the last three years, stealing jewelry, watches and guns worth several million dollars. They say he enters unlocked doors or windows between 5 and 11 at night when homeowners are out to dinner. There's a warrant out for Kiesling's arrest. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to call Newport Beach Police. Sandra Hutchins is on the job today as the new sheriff of Orange County. Hutchins was sworn in yesterday in a private ceremony that was kept secret from the public. Supervisor John Morlock said he gave Hutchins the option of an early swearing in so she could get to work. Hutchins is still scheduled to be sworn in Tuesday at 9 a.m. in a public ceremony at the old courthouse in Santa Ana. Classmates of the two Tesoro High School students accused of hacking into school computers to change grades are speaking out, saying both teens were good students and poised for success. Omar Khan and Tanvir Singh were involved in Tesoro's Honor Society and student government. Both are accused of crimes that could put them behind bars for years. Meanwhile, experts are speaking out on the pressures that could cause high-achieving teens to cheat. Counselors aren't commenting specifically on Khan and Singh's motives, but they do say the pressure to succeed in high school is higher today than ever before. Arraignment for both students is now scheduled for July 8th. A quadriplegic man in Orange County is suing the city of Orange to get his marijuana plants back. The one thing he says helps him manage his constant pain. Charles Monson started to grow marijuana in 1996, the year California voters passed Proposition 215, which allows marijuana usage for medicinal purposes. It worked well until October of last year, when Monson says police swarmed his home and confiscated 19 plants and about two ounces of marijuana. It's still against federal law to grow the plants, but Monson says police here in Orange County should follow the guidelines of Proposition 215. Monson says he now gets his medical marijuana from a dispensary in Orange. He says he won't grow it again until the case is settled. And an Anaheim homicide detective is being recognized today for her work on one of the most gruesome cases in Orange County history. Karen Schrofer was the lead detective in the 2007 Donick family murder case that left a father and daughter dead. Schrofer poured her heart into the case, working two months without a day off until three suspects were arrested. Today she will be honored with a special recognition award at an Anaheim Police Department awards ceremony. Weekdays, watch Daybreak OC from 6 to 8 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOC. To read more about all of these stories and to get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.